global problem that is ground water depletion. This video will help us to know more about ground water and also to conserve properly the ground water resources. Our earth is the only planet in the entire solar system where life exists. This is only because in our earth there are three different spheres are there. First one is atmosphere with abundant supply of oxygen. Another one is lithosphere with entire land mass. And last one is hydrosphere with full of water in it. And these three spheres combinedly form biosphere where life exists. And now, among these three layers, if any one layer get threatened, or get extinct by us. Is it possible to continue life in it? Absolutely not. Yes, in this present world, hydrosphere is very much affected in the form of water scarcity or global water problem, which leads to groundwater depletion. In our earth, it is estimated that about 3086 million cubic kilometers of water is there. Within this, it is found in liquid and frozen form in groundwater, oceans, lakes and streams. Within this, salt water accounts 97.5 percentage whereas fresh water accounts only 2.5 percentage. Within this 2.5 percentage of fresh water, 68.9 percentage is totally covered with permanent ice forms that is in Arctic, Antarctic and in mountain glaciers and 30.8 percentage is found in crown water forms and only 0.3 percentage can be found in lakes, reservoirs and in streams and now within this 2.5 percentage of fresh water available in our art with the humans 90 percent directly depends upon this crown water which leads to serious global problem that is crown water depletion this ground water is the water present beneath our earth surface in pore space in soil and in the fractures of rock formation in aquifers. Aquifers are underground layers of water bearing permeable rock, rock fractures or unconsolidated materials containing gravel, sand and silt. Now coming to the problems. There are various major problems which lead to the groundwater depletion. Among this, the most important two are natural causes, which include high temperature, no rainfall for many years, high evaporation, and high salinization. Now coming to the human-made causes, which includes agricultural dependency, more frequent pumping of groundwater, high population growth and deforestation which causes severe runoff. It is estimated that around 2 to 3 years about 1.8 billion world's population will experience absolute water scarcity. That means there will be little to no use of water in our heart. Here are top 5 countries currently dealing with severe water scarcity. These are Number 1. Yemen 
Number two, Libya. Number three, Jordan. Number four, the Western Sahara. Number five, Djibouti. Besides this, many other countries including United States, China, Singapore, Jamaica, Qatar, UAE, India, etc. are also dealing with extreme water scarcity. And now, if we talk about India, after two consecutive years of weak monsoon, 330 million population of India is in severe drought, which is equal to the quarter of India's total population. And with 50% of India's population is in severe drought, especially in the western states and in the southern states of the entire India. States like Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Uttarakhand is affected much more in water scarcity in the form of chronic drought. Apart from this all, what we have to do now is to start conservation of water resource. So here are some measures by which we can able to conserve water resources wisely and efficiently. Let's have a look. Number 1. Use low flow shower heads during shower which is really energy efficient and reduce water misuse. Number 2. Use of low flush toilets and composting toilets. These have a dramatic impact in the developed world. Number 3. Use dual flush toilets which use up to 67% less water than conventional toilets. Number 4. Use faucet aerators which break water flow into fine droplets to maintain weighting effectiveness while using less water. Number 5. Use raw water flushing. Where toilets use sea water or non purified water. Number six, waste water reuse or recycle for flushing toilets or watering gardens. Number seven, rainwater harvesting, by which we can easily store the rainwater in a tank or even in a pot and can reuse it wisely in many aspects. Number eight, Use of high efficiency clothes washer as it will use water very efficiently and the amount will also be controlled or automatically crept as per necessary. Number 9. Use of garden hose nozzles that shut off the water when it is not being used instead of letting a hose run. Number 10. Use of low flow taps in wash basins where the flow of water itself is low and reduce water runoff. Number 11. Try to cover swimming pool when not in use. This will reduce evaporation. Number 12. Use of automatic faucet as this eliminates water waste automatically without the use of hand. Number 13. Go for dry wash urinals and dry car washes as this will clean the object without the use of water. Number 14. Use of water saving stream sterilizations as it is commercially used technique particularly in hospitals without the use of water. Number 15. Sea water desalinization as it requires more energy than a desalinization of fresh water it can also be applied wherever possible number 16 sand filtration this helps in reduce of waste water wisely and also reduce misuse of water number 17 reuse of water removed from ac and water purifiers number 18 Fix the leaks in homes which will reduce the runoff of water from unknown sources. 
Number 19. Government policies and strategies will help to conserve water resources in our country. Number 20. Last but not the least, human awareness program by educating the people wherever and whenever necessary for wise use of water. Now coming to the end. To be alive, all we have to do is to conserve water. This video will help you to conserve water in various ways. So now stop wasting water and start conserving it soon. Thanks for watching Klima Initiative and Initiative for Better Education.